Welcome back. And when we last left off, we were making some progress on these door inserts. So here you can see we're actually getting really close now to finish sanding and, and uh, in the process of actually waxing uh, the insides of those so they can be bolted into place. And we can lay up the upper side of the fuselage. So there you can see that's one of them there with um, several coats of wax on it already and not far from uh, being done. And there's the other one. So those came out really well and actually they fit in nicely uh, to the fuselage so we don't uh, expect any real problems with that and here we have Devin and Zach doing the final uh, wet sanding on the plug for the uh, nose compartment door so that one's uh, getting close to being ready to wax and pull a mold and if you remember last time I was working on the um, layup for the uh, door skin for the lower door skin for one of the sides and so this is uh, up on the machine and just starting the rough cut on that one and this is a you know pretty simple one just basically a skin with some flanges and a little cut out for the handle here's the upper fuselage mold with the door inserts and we've got some uh, just brown paper down there that we're using to uh, size up the uh, core so we have core on the roof there and uh, core on the uh, on the sides there below the side windows. And by putting the door inserts in there, we can trace around those and make sure that um, the cutouts are there for the hinges and also the, the rear edge of the door there. So that wasn't too difficult to do and they gave us a nice re reusable template for cutting the core. And as you can see, we have to split the core into uh, left and right and center there around where the uh, channels are, where the parachute straps lay. But really, it didn't cause too many issues by doing that. And so there you can see with the door, edge of the door line marked on that one. So that needs to be trimmed out. And same with this one with the, the uh, hinge pockets there needs to be cut out of the template. So we finally had everything prepped and ready to lay up the upper fuselage. So here's Jeff uh, spraying in the top coat, which is that white top coat, the same as what we did on the lower fuselage and for the nose. So when the part comes out, it'll have that color on there. And that's basically kind of like a primer really, and won't take too much more on top of that uh, in the long run uh, before we can spray on the finished uh, uh, color whatever we end up choosing for the prototype so incidentally uh, if anyone who's going to Oshkosh wants to actually see some composite um, parts laid up uh, using the infusion process uh, Jeff's going to be up there with a bunch of other guys uh, doing a demo for four days there so it's sort of spread out over four days and at the end of this video I'll have um, a page there you can see where it, exactly where that's going to be so if you want to meet Jeff and uh, see some composites being laid up uh, using infusion then you should definitely uh, not miss that all um, very interesting to watch and there you can see the finished product and I'm not sure how this uh, looks from your perspective but this uh, actually upper fuselage is quite large in there so when once we flip it over and we get to put it on the lower fuselage you're going to get a real feel of how big the cabin is so here's the plug for the lower door skin, uh, pretty much complete, just needs some little finishing there around where the flanges are and also still need to run the, uh, the little cutout there for where the door handle sits in the middle. And here's the plug for the nose compartment door, all waxed up and just needs the rubber profile or channel profile put on there before the mold can be laid up. So that was a fairly easy one to move along fairly quickly for the guys. Not really any problems at all. And back to the upper fuselage uh, mold again. And here we are with the core pieces, the actual being cut. So these aren't the templates, the actual core and just dry fit into place just to make sure they're going to um, sit down nicely. And of course, the dual side window ones there, they're just laying in the middle there. And the edges were beveled to 45 degrees using the bandsaw. So they taper nicely when the uh, carbon fiber goes over the top of them. So here's the lower fuselage in the jig back up on the machine. So I can actually begin uh, trimming the flanges off and also cutting out uh, the various doors from that. So it wasn't really 
uh, anything too tricky with this, but we haven't done much of this before. So I've got the quarter inch acrylic bit out there, that one the similar type of bit that we're using for uh, cutting the windows that we did a while ago. And just running through there, sort of doing a swarf cut um, on where the edges are. And you can see that that's the trailing edge there that's being cut. And then this one over here, mostly cut. Um, not too difficult that, but it does go through the bits if you don't keep it cool. And here's the plug for the lower door skin. And there you can see that the recess has been made for where the door handle um, is going to live. So we're going to have flush mount door handles for this. And here's a little bit of time-lapse video showing how we uh, laid up the uh, upper fuselage. So one of the nice things about the way we created that mold was you can tip it on the sides, you could also tip it on the end. So being that it's difficult to work into uh, when it's laying flat, it's really nice to be able to do this. So started out laying up the one side there and laying up the door frame um, using a layer of heavy carbon and also a layer of light carbon. And uh, as you can see there, we've got it sort of tip flat now and putting the center section in there and we've already got the side core in there over the window and we tipped it up and did a little bit more work and back down again and then uh, putting the rest of the core in place there so a um, little bit time consuming to do this but you know first go around and there you can see it's all bagged up now and so that's the first day doing that and then the bag comes off and we do a little bit more prep work on it and then lay the inner layers of carbon fiber on that uh, the next day which was actually uh, yesterday friday so um, you'll see that shortly can we, can we disconnect that hose from the resin thing over there? and here we are friday morning we've got it tipped up on the end and we're just removing the peel ply and the breeder fabric and the uh, getting it ready so we can uh, lay up the inner layers of carbon on that. So a little bit of cleanup work, but nothing really too difficult. And meanwhile, the other guys were laying up the mold for the nose compartment door. So here it is with the black top coat put on there, two coats of that. And uh, before they can lay the fiberglass for that one. And here you can see the parachute strap channels um, being laid up with a mixture of resin and flox. So they're sort of filling those in nicely before we put the last bit of uh, quarter inch core in those and also just patched around the door uh, hinges as well. And as the guys are laying the glass down for this uh, nose compartment door mold and they just sort of zip through that one fairly quickly. They uh, seem to be... Uh, quite proficient now at creating these molds and get them done without too much hassle. And there's the finished product. So uh, we'll be able to pop that uh, mold next week and hopefully have time before uh, the end of the week to actually lay up that part. Um, so we can put the door uh, on the nose, which will sort of complete the look of the front of the aircraft. And here we are just uh, laying up the second half of the uh, upper fuselage, so I got tipped up on the side again, and just uh, Jeff's there just laying in the side bit. And there's the uh, center part with the extra bits of core laid in for where the parachute uh, channel is, parachute straps channel. So that came out really nice, looks nice and clean and tidy in there and nice and flat surface so everything's sort of smoothed out, right, because we had five eighths of an inch core and then, this, and then the one inch, or sorry, that quarter inch on those straps. And there it is all vacuum bagged up um, for the second time. And so Monday we'll be uh, releasing that. And then uh, we'll be able to use that um, routing mask that we created a couple of weeks ago to uh, trim out where, or cut out where the windows are and uh, trim the uh, ends and that sort of stuff. And then it'll be ready to set on top of the lower fuselage. And once again, for anybody going to Oshkosh who wants to see this um, this infusion demo uh, with the composites that Jeff's going to be doing with a, with a couple other guys, you'll see there it's at the Replica Fighters headquarters, which they're going to have a big tent sort of set up there. And Tuesday through Friday, various different hours there, but it's a long thing, so you could stop in for a while and just see what's going on and uh, get to meet Jeff and see how a composite part is infused with resin. And lastly, I invite you all to come along to my presentation that I'll be doing on Thursday morning at 8.30 a.m. in the airplane workshop on uh, the building of the Raptor prototype. Uh, looking forward to seeing you all there. That's our update for the, this week. Uh, thanks again for watching.